42 miles east of Portland on the beautiful Columbia Gorge, we visited the charming town of Cascade Locks. and the renowned Thunder Island Brewery. A small town lying just north of the iconic Bridge of the Gods, which spans across the Columbia River to Washington, Cascade Locks has about 1,400 residents. Fewer than the amount of students enrolled in a typical urban high school. But that doesn't mean it's just another sleepy small town. Numerous brew pubs and coffee shops, a big park on the river, several historic buildings, and a marina, not to mention the lovely scenery, make Cascade Locks a great day trip. For lunch we stopped by Thunder Island Brewery and we got a special treat, a tour of their brewing facilities. This is the river room. We usually use this in the summertime for overflow to kind of alleviate some of the stress from the kitchen. Um, Chris has recently taken on doing uh, Sunday football. Um, which we're hoping will take off at some point. Got these new tanks, um, which is very exciting. It's going to create um, more space for us to have more beer um, be made, which is great. Um, we just signed a new uh, contract with a distributing company, which is very exciting. Um, kind of getting our brand out there a little bit more. And each tank has a different. Yep. Brew in it? Usually, usually um, if, if it has beer in it, there's usually something written on uh, that little chalkboard on the outside. Gotcha. Uh, stout in them. The bolts and barley? Barley and bolts. Barley and bolts um, in bourbon barrels. Um, we have the other side is a Chardonnay barrel. Uh, so this is the Petch. Um, all of the peaches, it's a peach beer, sour beer. Um, all of the peaches came from the gorge. Jen um, cut and pitted almost all of these peaches by herself, with some help from others. But it's a tedious job. Um, but these will sit in here for 10 to 12 ish months before she uh, pulls it out and does her magic. This is where the beer is made. Uh, Chris knows a little bit more about this than I do. Um, mash tun. Uh, so, so we've got we've got the mash tun, and this is the boil kettle here on the right. To the far right, this is our hot liquor tank. So that's just a large vessel that holds hot water that we use for various steps in the brewing process. The mash tun is where we introduce the barley and water together and they steep and it activates an enzyme which converts long chain starches into simple sugars. And because the yeast cannot eat starches, they can eat simple sugars. So that's the, the, the purpose of the mash tun is to break those starches down into simple sugars. We take that liquid and pump it over into the boil kettle and that's when we introduce the hops to it and start the boiling process. And uh, we're basically just Preparing supper for the yeast for them to eat. All of the beer. Um, this is also where our tap cakes are kept. Um, we have trunk lines that go all the way up into the upstairs of the building. This is a fob system. Um, it allows us to be able to not pull the cakes as quickly. We also do pops in here. You can see these boxes. So tell me a little bit about those, um, if you don't mind. This is from our previous brewer, Andrew. Um, just kind of little, little mementos, some friendly reminders. 
Thunder Island Brewery is a popular stop for hikers looking to take a load off of their feet. There's a comfy spot to have a refreshing craft beer while enjoying the view of the gorge. At mile 2147 northbound on the Pacific Crest Trail, the nearby Bridge of the Gods is the lowest point on the entire route. On display are some donated backpacks from accomplished thru-hikers Whitney, Allgood, LaRufa, and Jonas Buttercup Peterson. Thanks to Thunder Island Brewery for the tour and some great golden ale. If it were a little warmer, we definitely would have stopped at the famous Eastwind Drive-In for dessert. We also did a quick driving tour of Marine Park and the Cascade Locks Historical Museum. The buildings were unfortunately closed for the winter, so we couldn't go inside. The museum is scheduled to open again in late March. Much of the museum focuses on the time period when Cascade Locks and Canal were being constructed. For almost two decades, from 1878 to 1896, workers painstakingly cleared a passage through the shallow rapids that comprised the namesake Bridge of the Gods, a natural dam formed by a massive landslide in the area that occurred sometime between 700 to 1,000 years ago. Before we headed back home, we contemplated what it would be like for a hiker to cross the bridge overhead after journeying for months along the mountains of the Pacific Crest Trail. It would be a little hard to imagine for us, but one thing we do know is where they can get a good beer. See you all in our next adventure!